Good morning. <laughs> if you have a yoga mat, that is good. If you don't have, don't worry. Just find some space in your room. Everyone has a different space, a different house. So a space where you can actually stand up and extend the limbs of your body to the sides and forward and back. And if you can also up and down. This is actually our kinosphere. We're going to use our kinosphere to move our body. Okay? So, we will start standing. And I ask you to have your feet together, if you can, <laughs> and have them parallel. And please them as close as you can. Release your arms, release your shoulders. Try to extend the spine long. Have the top of your head going up towards the ceiling. And from here, we're going to inhale and exhale. Anjali Mudra. Place your hands together, palms together, softly and gentle. Press them in front of your heart. Release the shoulders, extend the spine, and close your eyes just for a moment. Let's acknowledge the presence of the body in space, acknowledging the presence of your breath. Encourage yourself to keep breathing from your nostrils. And take a few deep breaths from your nose. Now exhale, release your hands, inhale, come up, cross your fingers and extend the arms up, exhaling to one side, inhaling up and exhaling to the other side and keep going with your breathing, inhaling up and exhaling to one side. Inhaling up and exhaling to the other side. Feeling the connection between the movement and the breathing. Experiencing the stretching of the sides, the body, the torso. And again, encourage yourself to keep breathing from the nostrils. And have your feet together. The belly button is a little bit sucked in so that the core center of your body is engaged. Now come up again and release your arms, release your hands, and massage the air. Simply touching the air, letting it, if there is some density in the air. Let's come up, same thing. And on the other side of the release, just massaging the air. And again up. Feeling the space between your fingers, shoulders soft. Now release your arms. And let's go again up, inhale. Place your hands together. Now as we exhale, on the face one side, bend your knees, extend the spine. Then if you're cutting the space with a blade, which are your arms and hands. And now release the fingertips on the ground, bend your knees and release the head. If you can't touch the ground, bend your knees as much as you can, so that you can touch it. And then you release the arms and release the head. Take a few deep breaths here. Feel the space between each vertebra of your lumbar spine. And now inhaling, come up with your head. Try to stretch your torso. Let's go up with the arms. 
And it's saying, come back up to the mudra, the center of your heart. Let's do it again. Inhaling, come up. Exhaling, cutting the space, feeling the long spine come down. Release your head, touch it down with your fingertips. Bend your knees, take a deep breath here, feeling the space between each vertebra, especially in the lower spine. And then again, inhaling, coming up from the center of your head, stretching the spine long, come up. Exhaling. Let's go back to the center once more. Inhaling up. And exhale, cut in the air. And let's go down, release your head. Take a deep breath here. Now with the next inhale, let's go with our right foot back and releasing the left knee, the right knee down. So your hips are not square with the right knee, but try to extend them a little bit forward. Stay here for a couple of breathing, releasing the uh, forward side of your right leg, of your right hip. Prishtasana, lizard pose. Try to extend with your breath, your gaze forward enough. And then exhale, press your hands gentle on the ground, come up with the right knee and come back also with the left foot, stretching the spine long, releasing the head. Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Your knees are soft and what is important here, I want you to stretch your spine. Like if your hips are going towards the ceiling and the head is released down. A few deep breaths here. Extend your arms. And then keep breathing and alternating your knees. Try to press your heels to the ground. Stretching the feet. Stretching the legs, one leg at a time. Keep breathing. Enjoying the movement. The body is awakening. Now come back into a neutral position, stretching the spine, and the right foot is going forward. Inhale. Place your foot nearby your hands and let's release the left foot, the left knee down. You can release also the ankle and try to press gently your hips forward. The right knee can go over uh, the right ankle. This is okay. And again, Prishtasana, extending, expanding up, lizard pose. Like a lizard looking for the sun. Feel all of your body breathing. Breathe through your skin. And again, exhale, releasing gently, press your hands down. Point your foot, engage your knee. Inhale, coming forward, place your feet together again. And exhaling, fingertips on the ground, or if you can, the whole hand, and release again the head. Remember to have your knees soft. You don't need to stretch. We want to release the back. And to do so, we're going to bend the knees and feel the breathing in the lower spine. And now again, come up, inhaling, looking forward, extending up, 
hands together, exhaling, coming back to your center, to your heart. Take a deep breath here. And let's do the same thing, coming to the left, inhaling. Towards the ceiling, exhaling, cutting the space and coming down, releasing the head gently. Inhale, come back with the left foot. And exhale, release the left knee down. And again, gently pressing your hips, Krishnasana, looking forward and up. And exhale, press your hands gently, engage the back leg, and come back with the right foot. Adhamukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. We're going to stay here for a couple of breaths, deep, long breaths for the nostrils. Belly slightly in. Finding the space between each vertebra, between each rib. Your knees can stay soft, or you can try to press gently all of your heels towards the ground. Another deep breathing here. And now we will go forward with the right foot. So come forward. The right, inhaling, exhaling forward with both of your feet and release down. And again, come up, inhale, exhale to your center. Let's do one more, inhale. And exhale. Right foot back. Inhale. Exhale. Hold of your feet back. Now forward with your left foot. Inhale. And exhale. Both of your feet together. Release down. Inhaling. Coming forward and up. Exhaling to your center. One last time. Inhale. And exhale. Left foot back. Exhale, both of your feet back. Let's go with the right forward. Inhale. And exhale, close them together. Inhaling, coming up. And exhale to the center. Let's stay here just for a deep breath. Have your feet together. And now release gently your hands and place them on your waist. So when we place our hands on our waist, I want you to feel the uh, belly button a little bit in. So engage. Sucking in the belly, just a little bit. This is called Uddiyana Bandha. It's like a belt we always have. Now come up with one foot, the right foot, and try to extra rotate the hip, the knee, and the foot. You can stay here, or if you want, and if you feel like, you can come up and place your foot on, your, on the opposite ankle. It's not necessary if you feel like this is too much, come back down. So you have this variation, this variation, or you can come up to your knee. Or again, you can come up to the inside of your leg. So find the variation which is good for you. What does it mean good? We want to cultivate a relaxed, calm, 
firmly consistent practice. So we don't want to struggle. In yoga we don't want to struggle, we don't want to achieve something. We just want to stay and breathe. So find a place where you feel comfortable enough and you can breathe. Your hands on your waist, feeling your center, feeling the extra pressure of your leg. Now release gently your arms, inhale coming up. Find a place in the room where you can take a spot looking forward and place your hands together on top of your head. Rikshasana, three pose. Encourage your shoulders to stay soft. Encourage your elbows to open to the sides. Encourage your breathing to be calm, long, and relaxed. A couple of breaths here. Now let's go back to the center line, exhaling to the center of your chest, releasing the foot and coming back into our Tadasana, mountain pose which are our standing basic position. Release your hands again, place them on your waist, and let's go to the other side. Left foot, extra rotation of your hip, knee, and foot. They're all connected. And now find your variation, your position. Bring Shasana as many variations, find your own. This one, this one, and test yourself in a sense of dialoguing with yourself. Dialogue with your knees, sleep, your hips are there, your breathing, everything. Or you can come up and press gently the inside of your foot into the inside of the opposite leg. Your hands on your waist, feeling the center, feeling your breathing. And then release, gently your hands. Embrace the space, inhaling, coming up, Palms together, find a spot in the room. Exhale, releasing the shoulders. Encouraging your elbows to go to the side, opening. Encouraging your breath to stay soft and long. Belly in. Acknowledge that balance comes from swinging. So allow yourself to swing a little bit on the foot which is touching the ground. Keep breathing. And exhale, coming back to the center line, in front of your chest, in front of your heart. And from here, release the foot and Come back to the center, Tadasana. Now we're going to extend both of our feet to the sides. How much to the sides depends on you, depends on the space you have. I suggest that if you open your arms, and again we are going to face our chemosphere, experience our chemosphere, if you project an imaginary line from your wrist, this line should touch the heel on the same side. So if I project my arms, this is not like an equation, we're not doing mathematics, it's just a feeling. The feeling is that under your wrist, just on the same line, there is your ankle. Now release again your hands and your waist. This is like a coming back to your center, centering yourself, grounding yourself. Belly a little bit in, expanding yourself through your breathing. And now we're gonna switch the right foot to the right, just a little bit, so that the points of your right foot are looking to the right side. And the left foot is going to see on the inside. So they're both rotated on the right. This is just slightly, and this is fully rotated side. Now expand your arms again and feel if your hips are looking to the side too 
try to encourage them to look forward. So imagine you have your two highs on your hips, and they're going to look forward. Extend your arms, take a deep breath here. Exhale, releasing the shoulders. Now let's go to one side, look at the right. Inhaling, reaching something which is far away to the right. And exhale, coming up with the left arm, releasing the right arm down. Trikonasana, triangle pose. So again, here you have many variations. You can stay here with your arm on top of your um, neck, or you can come down toward your ankle, or you can place two fingers on the inside of your big uh, toe, and then pressing up towards the sky. With all variations, you just find the variations which is good for you. Remember, it's, it's not the body who needs to accommodate itself into a pose. It's the pose that accommodates itself on the body. And everybody is different. So let's cultivate the differences. Every difference is precious. Is a preciousness. In every variation you have, remember to take deep, long breaths. If you feel you're going into struggling and your breathing is struggling, just go back into another variation, a softer one. What we want to cultivate here is our breathing. And the breath is connected with our energy. Yoga is an energetic practice, more than a physical practice. Now come on, like if someone is coming and pulling you up from the left arm, inhaling, exhaling, release, come back to the center, at your feet parallel, acknowledge the difference between right and left. This is a good time for you. To feel, whoa, something is changing. Maybe something is not. Good time to acknowledge. And now let's go to the other side. Have your hands on your waist and go to the left, with your left foot. With the right foot, we're going to go to the inside just a little bit to help our knees find their alignment. Try to have them facing forward. And again, the hand heading, coming up and stretch. Exhaling, coming to the side and release down. You will see that in many poses, many asanas, there are many differences between right and left. Sometimes we feel like the right is super stretched, super good, and maybe the left is not, or maybe it's the opposite. So let's acknowledge this in our body and just Release the shoulders and allow the breathing to do the work for you. Just keep breathing kindly. In any variation you will find, remember to have your both of your shoulders relaxed so we're not um, grasp, grasping the foot or the leg and placing all of our weight into one shoulder. The weight is here, it's in the center. And the arms are simply stretched and relaxed. Try also not to go forward with your torso, but encourage yourself to go back. Imagine that if you have a light bulb in your center of your heart and you want to um, put some light up towards the sky. You can look forward, you can look down, or you can look up towards your head. A few deep breaths here. Now come up, inhaling, but if someone is pulling you up from your hand, exhaling forward and release. Have your feet parallel, acknowledging the differences between right and left. 
Now we're going to inhale from the center, expanding, exhaling. Coming back to the center of the body, Uddiyana Bandha, have your belt engaged. Inhale, coming up with your gaze. Exhale, coming forward, cutting the space with your eyes. And then release down, release your hands and release your head. Once more, you can have your knees stretched or you can have them bent. Find your variation here. And once more, let's try to release the shoulders and let's try to release the, knee, the elbows on the inside. You can have your fingertips or your full hands on the ground and try to have your hands just under your shoulders and the center of your head looking at the center of your hands. A few deep breaths here. Now inhaling, point your fingertips, expanding, coming up with the head, stretching the spine long. Exhaling, let's go to the right, walking, and grab your knee or ankle or foot and release the head. Couple deep breaths here. Inhaling, come up again, walking to the other side, stretching the spine, and exhale towards your left. Keep breathing gently. Back to the center, inhaling, stretching the spine, exhaling. Place your hands just under the center of your chest. Let's go up with the right arm. Inhaling, looking up, exhaling, touching the, the air, coming down. Inhaling, look up, exhaling, coming down. Two more, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale, once more, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Now inhale. Again, stretching forward. Grab your elbows. Exhale. Release the elbows. Release the torso. Release the head. Let's stay here for a couple of breaths. Once again, release your hands, inhaling, stretching forward, exhaling, stay here. Place your hands on your waist, inhale, come up, and exhale, place your feet together, gently come back. Release your hands, place your hands on the center of your chest, close your eyes, 
allow the feelings of the body to emerge spontaneously. And again, release your hands, inhaling and coming up. And once more, exhaling, touching down the floor, releasing the head. Inhale, this time, place both of your hands down and stretching the spine long. And exhaling, place both of your feet back. Dandasana or Palakasana. Imagine we are a piece of wood, a table on the four feet. We're going to stay here for five long deep breaths. One, two, Four. And five. Exhaling, place your knees gently down. Release the foot to the ankles and stretching back. Balasana, child's pose. Put deep combination, your hands and arms stretch forward, release the elbow and try to release the head down, placing your forehead on the ground. Each time you inhale, Experiencing the space between each vertebra and each ribs. And each time you exhale, releasing the weight of the body, the weight of the hips, the torso, the shoulders, the arms, and the head to the ground. Let's go forward like a wave, inhaling, coming forward, exhaling. Let's stay here for a moment. So place your hands, open your, your space between each finger, just under your shoulder. And place your knees a little bit open, just under your hips. Release the ankles, release the calves. Inhaling. Stretching up the gaze and the hips. Exhaling, bending in, stretching the other side. Look at your belly button. Inhaling, again stretching up and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Once more. Inhale. And now exhale. Come back with your hips towards your um, heels. And again, move the balasana. Release the head down. Inhaling, bring forward like a wave. Opening up, stretching. Exhaling, stretching on the other side. Come down, release the weight. Inhale, forward and up. And exhale, back and down. Inhale, forward and up. And exhale, back. 
One more. Inhale. Forward and up. Now point your toes. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Avanasana. Stretching the spine, releasing the head. Look at the center of your knees, or if you can, try to look at your belly button. Inhaling, coming forward, gently down with your knees, coming up with your gaze. Exhale, up again, downward facing dog. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Now we're going to stay here five long deep breaths. One. Two. Okay. 
again, your fingertips are going towards the center of your shoulder blades. And we're trying to place both of our hands joined together. Prishtanjali. Once more, we don't want to bend, but always trying to open the center of our chest towards the sky. The belly is a little bit in. Here. Then again, exhale, release your hands, inhaling, coming up, exhaling, coming back and behind your hips. Cross your fingers, extend your arms, try to push your shoulder blades together, inhaling, coming up with your hips, exhaling, coming forward. And release your forehead down and have your hands come up and forward as much as you can. Exhale, release your hands on your waist, inhaling, coming up with your gaze, up with your spine long, choose one side, and go to the side and stretch your feet forward. Release your knees, release your feet, your toes, wiggle your toes a little bit. And now have your knees and feet looking up. Try to have your hands to the sides of your hips. Keep hemming, come up, cross your fingers and stretch up. If you feel like this is happening, then you can bend your knees a little bit and try to extend the spine long. Once more, we want to focus on the spine more than the legs, at least at the beginning. If you feel like this is good, then you can try to stretch your legs and stretch your spine. And now inhale, looking up, release your arms and hands. Exhale, let's go forward and grab our feet. So you're gonna grab the sides of your feet. Once more, if you can't reach for your feet, Bend your legs a little bit, as long as you can grab your feet. Let's imagine our feet are on the, uh, just in front of a wall. We want them to be parallel. Sometimes they tend to close them together. Let's try to have them parallel. Let's help them with our hands. And now inhale, looking up. And exhale, gently, one breath at a time, release the spine, release the head. And wherever you are, you don't have to go down. Just releasing the head, take deep, long breathing with your nostrils. Five big breaths. One. Stay here. Inhaling, looking up, coming up, 
exhaling, come back to your center. And now cross your legs and come into a comfortable seated position. That means that maybe you need a chair. That means that maybe you need a pillow just under your hip bones. If you feel this is happening, this is not comfortable. You want to release. So maybe a pillow or a yoga block if you have. If you don't have a pillow or a couple of books, anything that can allow you to sit and release both of your knees, both of your legs. Okay? So again, find your pose. Let's have our left foot forward. Inhaling up. Exhaling to the center. Now your right arm is going towards your left knee. Inhaling up with the left arm and behind. Try to stretch your spine long. Look to the other side, stretching like a spiral. Couple deep breaths here. And as you exhale, release this spiral to go back to your center. Inhale, looking up, exhaling to the center, and the end. Inhaling, come up with the right arm, exhaling. Let's go and look over the right shoulder. Try to extend the spine like if someone is pulling up from the center of your head towards the ceiling. And release, exhale, coming back to the center. Now inhaling, looking up, exhaling, cutting the air, coming down, release your hands, release your head. Let's go down as much as we can. Both of your hip bones to the ground. Feel the deep breaths here. Your head can be with the forehead on the ground. Or you can create a pillow for your forehead with both of your hands on both of your feet. Releasing the shoulders. And exhale, one vertebra at a time. Come up. And let's continue this movement with the head gently. Keep breathing with the movement. One side and the other. Now coming back to the center, let's switch our feet. Inhaling, come up. And exhaling forward. Again, release your hands, release your head. You can find a pillow or your forehead, or you can release your forehead to the ground. So try to have both of your hip bones to the ground too. A few long breaths here. Once more, exhale, fold your spine, come up, one vertebra at a time, inhaling up, exhaling towards center. Now I want you to go forward with your hands and 
Have your fingers going to the inside and touch the center of your chest. So your elbows are up, your shoulders are released. Find a comfortable seated position. And when you inhale, I want you to imagine and actually create with your hands and arms the expansion of your uh, center of your chest, of your heart. And then as you exhale, come back neutral. Inhale. And exhale. And keep doing this movement with your own pace. This heart center in yoga is called Anahata Chakra. Chakra in Sanskrit means will. The idea that we have few energetic centers which are dynamic like wheels. And the breath, which is called prana, is flowing into those wheels. Just for a moment, try not to do anything specifically. Allow yourself to sink into the beauty of the breath. Thank you. 